don't know, no, I'm finna go there. I just left NC with Lil Joe, bro, them had a show there. I'm from VAA, I need to tap in for I blow here. Know how Jimmy get, ain't got a stick, he can't go nowhere. Could've caught the road. Yeah. The song, no, I'm finna go there. I just left NC with Lil Joe, bro, them had a show there. I'm from VIA, I need to tap in before I blow here. Know how Jimmy get, ain't got a stick, he can't go nowhere. Could've caught that Rolex, but I stay down for the AP. Me and Cuzzo back to back, ball like Kyrie KD. Purple in my cup, going on my wrist, LeBron and AD. I keep dropping bangers, know these local niggas hate me. Big song, let's get it. Yes, sir. Hey, y'all, big song, on, man. I'm back on Tide Water Waves with my nigga Drew. Let's get it. I already know, man. Appreciate you pulling back up. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's been long overdue. Sit yeah. down, yeah, two years ago, man, a lot done happened. Already, man, we're just working, bro. Keep working, can't stop. Won't yeah, stop. yeah definitely. Yeah, so, but uh, yeah, we'll get right into it, man. You know, you got a um, couple of challenges going on. You got some new music. Yes, sir. Uh, so, you know, how's that been for you since we last sat down, just with uh, the music ramping up? We got the uh, the step challenge. Uh, step featuring my boy, Wayne Way Joe, man, my brother. He from out Alabama. Uh, we got that going crazy on TikTok. Uh, we got the Hood Amina Challenge. Um, I posted a beat on my YouTube. The hardest verse on the, uh, on the freestyle, gonna get some free tools, merch. Plus, we're gonna throw them on the remix and we're gonna do the video with them. So, y'all tap into that. And the Step Challenge we got going viral right now on TikTok, man. The, the hardest dance, we're gonna get 2K. See, people was playing around, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go make the dance myself. Mm, feel yeah. me? So, I created the, um, my own dance to the song and we're just working, bro. Mm. Working. Dope, dope. So yeah, how mm. was that, man? Just uh getting acclimated to, you know, like TikTok really kind of blew up over the past year and just uh, was, putting, putting your own dance together. It was a little weird for me because, you know, I ain't really big on social media. Like, that ain't really my thing. I'm more of like face to face when I meet people. That's how I move. So when I did, when I started doing social media, more like managing myself and doing all this, I just had to learn it all. Like learning TikTok, I ain't know how to work it at all. I ain't no, I ain't no dancer either. Like, you know me, I don't dance, so I was just like, I like, can't wait for nobody else to help you. I gotta get it on your own. Like, yeah, so we just hustling, bro. Like, it was, it was definitely a lot of work though. Like, I'm starting to see that it's all about content. Like, posting something every day, staying in their face, making sure they see. Shit, that's how it's been working. So, yeah, hell yeah, you know, more so uh, now, you know, the pandemic. Um, you know, how has that affected you? Like you saying, it really. Uh, allow people to tap more into like the social media and stuff and yeah. get in front of people, people inside need content. See, so how were you able to, you know, switch things up? I really did my research like last year before it started. I, uh, what, 2019, before it started, I, was, I had like plotting up on songs, do a lot of research. I started reading books and stuff. Like I read uh, Deepak Chopra's Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. I don't know if y'all read that or whatever, mm, but yeah. one of the, the uh, passages in the book he liked Detach from the results. So I like, just keep working. Just keep putting out content and don't even look at the views or the likes, comments. Just keep going. That shit been working for me. So mm -hmm. with that, um, 2019, I had like, I think I racked up on like 20 songs. So when 2020 came out, January 2020, I was going to drop every every week, I was going to drop a song. Every Wednesday, I call it Wheels Wednesday, I'm dropping. So I started doing it. Then the pandemic came, all the studios shut down, but I had 20 songs. So I dropped from like, January to I think May maybe mid May I was running out of songs <laughs> so I just took my best songs and I put it on the tape and I put out the little po oh, po po poetic, ter po poetic therapy I dropped that um 2020 I dropped that mm -hmm. what? what was that May May yeah uh, I dropped that in May so right when I stopped I just put out my best songs on the tape but it slowed me down definitely slowed me down but then again when studio opened back up. I just started racking up and like, I knew this time was coming. I just been racking up singing. Like, I got like, psh, I got so much music right now, bro. Mm -hmm. Coming, it's on the Word, way. Like, the water's full. Bro, I like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. man, shooting the clip. Like, like, a lot of people, like, I don't understand. Like, I seen this jank um, online. Dude was like, like, local artists, like, unsigned artists. Like, why are you holding on to music? Like, like, your, your jank might be fine, but nobody waiting for you to drop. Like, mm -hmm. if you unheard of, nobody waiting for you to drop. So, Put it out. Like, what you holding on to it for? Yeah. Well, I say I'm putting everything out. You gotta trust yourself. Like, keep putting out content. And know, know you can do better. Like, mm -hmm. so I'm just been hitting this, dude, working, bro. And it's like I've been in the gym this whole time. So, 
as soon as coach put me in the game, I'm not gonna miss. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's real. Just grinding, bro. Yeah, dope, dope. So, you know, uh, speaking of that, like being in the studio, um, you know, what's that creative process been like for you? Just, you know, being so repetitive with creating, it can get a little tiring, maybe. Um, yeah. So, how, how you, how do you handle yeah, that? Yeah, for sure. You can hear it in my music, man. Like last year, the music I was making, it was, I was real depressed, bro. Like going through a lot, like losing people and just everything, like grinding and knowing you hard, but you ain't getting the, you know what I'm saying? Why I said that when I read that book, that ain't changed my life. Like detached from the results, mm. that ain't changed my life. But like my my creative process, like I'm just I'm just vibes. Like if the vibes good, I'm good. Like I kick everybody out of the studio if the vibes ain't there. <laughs> Yeah. Yolo, I got, I got, like, because we here to record music, like, I ain't trying to play, like, everywhere I go, I'm working, it ain't, like, like people think this ain't be fun, it ain't, man, <laughs> mm -hmm. working, like, I like the music and performing, but all the extra stuff you gotta do, like, the social media, I don't enjoy that, but mm -hmm. come with it, like, like, I feel like I'm doing everything a label would do for an artist, I'm doing it on my own, like, Dolo, but shoot, I just got signed, man, Paper Game ENT, we, we independent with it, we pushing. All right. Big CEO management, we pushing, man. No, so that's you, but basically signed yourself. Well, this is my brand right here, PJ, uh -huh. our song. But yeah, my, my fan, we signed, he signed me, we we working like that, man, keeping everything in house, we just gonna yeah. keep pushing. I'm trying to get it on like cash money type, Master P type vibes, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, what you need a label for nowadays? I got, you got Distro Kid, TuneCore, United Masters, you can post all your stuff for free. I be trying to put people on game, man. Like, only thing I feel like you need a label for is like stuff like this. Like to get interviews. Like you don't see nobody on like Breakfast Club or Hot ninety seven. Yeah, they sign. yeah, You feel me? But at the same time, you got people like Young Boy. He never been on. I ain't never seen him on Breakfast Club, Hot ninety seven. But yeah, music go crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. The you know power. Yeah, the power. Of just like social media people. Once you yeah. get the people, like the fans, that's what you need. People target their fans, like. I just mm -hmm. been building like one by one. I want to get people. He like my music. Now where you got that solid fan base, people be saying mm -hmm. you build it, the structure up. Like just keep going. Mm -hmm. It's foundation. So that's yeah. what I've been doing. So yeah, definitely. So Virginia's like the foundation, but how have you uh been in terms of like reaching out other places with social media? Oh yeah, for and, sure. Um like analytics and stuff like that. Yeah, because you know I was in the military, so so when I heard somebody drop I, I look at the numbers, it's like Texas, Florida, Miami, because I got people all over the world that was I, I was rapping with, so they mm -hmm. know me, so they putting people on. It's like word of mouth, just traveling. Like people see my song doing them, and they like, dang, but it don't look like here. But I got Saudi Arabia, like my name everywhere. Like I can show you the streams is everywhere. Like mm -hmm. just keep going, like yeah, dope. Keep pushing. Yeah, for sure. So you know, in terms of like um, uh, like reaching out to these places, uh, or not even like reaching out, but just um, exploring it online and people listening to your music, you know, what does that do for you in terms of your create creativity and doing music? Um, like, all right, what well, these people are taking to this and how that helps you push and uh, just evolve. I mean, like, like paying attention to what cities is. Yeah, like yeah. what they listen to and just how yeah, you. Yeah, I, I be paying attention to that too. Like, yeah, on China, I want to like start doing like a tour, like a maybe a, I don't know five city tour, whatever my big biggest streaming cities is, just go there like a little club. I don't care if it's like 10, 15 people, it's the type of vibes I want to do. Like, I don't want to be like the type of club artist, you know, going to the club. You go to the club and perform, people ain't coming out to see you. Like, you know, people in the club just staying there and lit. I want to like build it up like that. That's what I say about the foundation. Like, if I start touring, we put together our own tour, going to different cities, like 10, 15 people is just going to grow, build it up. How you gotta start it, man. Yeah, I'm so cool with it. Yeah, so you really uh talking a lot about the ownership, man. So how uh yeah. what does that mean to you? So you mentioned like no limit, uh master P, yeah. cash money, and just like doing it that way instead of like, you know, subjecting yourself to any type of deal, right. even if it's like a partnership, you still have like restrictions and limits. Right. Yeah, yeah. that's big to me, like like well, watching Nip and everybody, like just like telling you, people telling you, like I, I pay attention to um you know, Russ, uh, uh, he made, he, uh, the, the white dude. Right, made, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been yeah. watching him a lot. Like, his interviews. I don't really tap into his music that much, but what he's talking about, like, facts. Like, like that's why I got the song of, uh, song of Week idea from him. He was like, he dropped Song of Week. Dope. For, but he said he did it for three years, and it ain't blew up. So I'm just like, keep it that way. But yeah, definitely, like, owning everything. We own it all. Like, 
And I, I put niggas on game too. Like, if somebody hit me up, like, how you get your music on album, this and that? I put them on game, like, free game. I just want everybody to win, bro. Like, mm-hmm. all the violence and stuff that's been going on, like, yeah. like just grind, man. There's too much money out here to be doing this stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something's gonna hit. Definitely yeah, just definitely. ownership is big to me, man. Like, I see artists, like old old school artists, like they're rappers and they don't own their stuff. People been rapping 20 years and the label owning their music. Like, man, I got kids and family to take care of. Like, I need all that. <laughs> yeah, no, I really, all that. I was you know, asking myself. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, This quote, and maybe you've seen it, uh, just came out the other day. It was um, Floyd Mayweather. He was like, shit, I'm, I'm going to get every you know dollar I can. He was like, your kids can't eat legacy. Yeah. And it's great, but it's like, you know, I got to put food on the table and it's like the same people telling you that, man, money don't matter, this and that. I mean, like, you know, you got, you feel me? that's just the name of the you game. See, and the thing <laughs> is, I'm not really not against, provide. I'm not against signing a deal. It's like, if somebody came with the right, like I just don't understand the music industry. Like, mm, basically yeah. you get you get an advance, but they telling you, you got to pay it back. So like, if you go to like, okay, let's, let's break it down. Paper game, that's the label. We go to a, uh, uh, industry label, Atlanta, whatever. And they talking about owning it. But like, if you was to go to the bank and get a loan, you don't gotta, you know, they don't own your brand if you mm. get a loan, a business uh, loan. Yeah. That's crazy to me, yeah. I don't get it. Like, that's, yeah, that's right. illegal. <laughs> yeah. Like to own somebody, like, I own your music because I gave you a loan. Like, mm. it don't make sense to me, I don't know. Yeah. Like, if they want to invest, it shouldn't be a payback. It should be them investing into the company and they buying a percentage of it. Because mm-hmm. I feel like Sony Wiz is a business. Like everything I'm doing, the God song, the brand, everything. Mm-hmm. And it's just keep working, bro. It's yeah. gonna, something going to catch on. Yeah, definitely. I love what you just said about just in terms of, um, you know, it's like pretty much loopholes that people are fine. It's like, right. hey, well, man, this person really needs this cash. So I'm going to take the royalties and all this other stuff and make it hard for them to get out. Right. And it's just, you know, like a repetitive yeah. process. I feel like it's like that here too. Like, oh man, if Virginia would just come together, bro, it'd be so mm. amazing, bro. Like, people just, people just don't support really. Like, and it's getting better though. It definitely get a lot better, but I just like to see everybody come together and stop everything that's been going on. It took me a while to learn that, like, everything I've been going on, like, mm-hmm. you remember, like, the old me was not on this type of vibes, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I just grew a lot, like. Yeah. Yeah, you got, got no choice but to evolve. Like, I went to college for business and marketing. People don't even know that. Like, mm. people just be yeah. judging book by its cover, man. You never know what person really likes until you meet them. Yeah, yeah. Hustling, like you man. saying, you know, you do social media stuff all day, but you still got to do the face to face. Right, and I still got to pull out. I got to go to the studio. I'm doing videos, I'm yeah. doing shows. Like, it's mm. a lot, but we got yeah. the back in there. We got some help. So, yeah, it's dope. going crazy, man. Yeah, so, you know, how, how important is that, like, support system to use, is having a team? Um, and just, you know, some people yeah. to do with. Uh, just it's just so like, music. I know before I was like, I want to work with who I want to work with because, you know, people that I, I know and I trust. Mm-hmm. But you get to the point where like, you got to just rock with who want to do it. Like a lot of people ain't, don't, ain't on the same time as me. So I just got with some like-minded individuals and we, we pushing like, my manager, my, my manager Shay, we've been rocking from the jump. Mm-hmm. Um, my sister, she got the clothes and the shoes. Big Care Customs, go follow her on the ground. We're going crazy. My, my uh, CEO, Big TP, Paper Game, ENT, we outside, man. Just all 2021, 2022, I'm telling you, we, I'm trying to be the biggest artist to ever mm. come out. Because I can't name one rapper that came out of Virginia. Like like street rapper, not even Pusher. He was a group. That was a group. Mm-hmm. Can't name one rapper. Mm. I can't. Yes, I mean, can you? Yeah. I can't. Just like solo. <laughs> Yeah, like solo artists that came out of Virginia, I can't name one. Mm. Well, like, shit, um, yeah. Like a rapper, like Chris Brown and them singers, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't name a rapper. I've been thinking about it, I can't. Yeah, this is <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to be the first one. Yeah, dope, okay. I mean, yeah, shit, who's stopping you? Nobody. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I know some people doing their thing, but I mean, like, major yeah. industry, you know what I'm saying? Like, on that yeah. level, yeah, hasn't yeah. been one, like. Yeah, superstar it's, shit. It's a, yeah, it's a big opening for it, so. So no. I'm trying to make my music like that too, like just be different, create a sound for the city, man. That's what I'm all on. Like mm. Cheese Town, man. I'm representing. Uh, step. <laughs> you got to, yeah. Flex. 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 <laughs> it's going sir. crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all tapping with that? We're gonna, you know, throw this in here real quick. Look, commercial yes, break.
Check. Bet. Yeah, let's go. But son of a goat, weight on my shoulders, feel like a boulder I had some problems, I had to roll them I had some problems, I had to smoke them I feel like baby pockets on swole I call the players and put them in motion I see them young niggas running right just the door with No, I'm from the blow I find a cold, I'm back in that mode I'm with a bro when he got the lows They trying to drink, we trying to smoke We getting high, but be on the low I got the line, I shoot on the pole When the lights, we be on the go Step, flex, check, check Young niggas, flex Get y'all dance on. I can't dance. I was dance. I made the dance. I know y'all can dance, so let's get it. We got everybody going crazy on TikTok. Keep going. Tap in, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So Actually, we got pull up too. Pull up. Just, pull up. Just hit 20k. Pull up, push up, sit up, look up In the gym, I feel at home. Okay, cook up, flow crap, push up. I be snapping every song. Master P, I got it. Hey, what we dropped it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, hit 20. I want to check the numbers. It's like 22k yeah. right now, but. Shoe uh, Hood and Mina, that hit 22K the first week too on Apple Music. I ain't checked the numbers lately, but you know I say I'm detaching from the results. I'm just, that's why I'm just dropping. People are like, dang, you got a song doing numbers, why you why you still dropping? Mm -hmm. But it's like, why not? Like, if you, if I hit a shot in the game, coach ain't finna take me out if I'm hot, keep shooting. Mm -hmm. If I'm on my box, I, I get to get him on the ropes, I'm gonna keep swinging. Yeah. What I'm gonna slow down for? Yeah. So I'm going. Or adult. Yeah. So yeah, speaking to keep going, you know, what's the summer look like for you? Um, in terms of like keeping this music flowing, what type of vibes you giving uh listeners? We got the step step right now. We got the tape project memories is already done. It's coming out. I got another collab project I'm working on with my, my brother Moneyway Joe. He from up Alabama. He from the um uh same place, uh Moose and from. Yeah, up Alabama, man. We're going crazy, bro. Like right. some of mine. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take this over. We got oh, we're gonna do the hood and mean a video this summer. We dropping that. We got more visuals on the way. Oh, we got the Somni. I forgot about that. That's our airway. Go get that. We got that video on the way. We're just working, bro. Like, I'm gonna keep dropping on them. Not gonna stop. Not letting up. No, no. Yeah, but you was on tour with Moose. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, we was in um, Raleigh, Charlotte and Raleigh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tapped in with bro. Bro was real cool, man. We was just chilling. Playing 2K and stuff like, bro, real deal, humble guy. Like, mm -hmm. 
a lot of a lot of people get that money to change, but he was real. Like all in the whole account, it was real. Like shout out to all of them, his manager, AI. I mean, he's he's he signed with Capital, all of them, but they just real, bro. Like mm -hmm. who was just vibing, bro. Like they showed him a lot of love. No. So. Yeah. So what what's um? Because we talked before this, you was like, yeah, I got this, this, and this drop and all these projects. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what's your favorite uh project you're looking forward to dropping? Um, what these, I guess next. That's probably the one I'm working on right now. Mm. That's, I'm, I'm setting it up. We setting it up for November, December time frame. I ain't even. I ain't even name it yet. I want. I might do the project uh, poetic therapy too, because I dropped the poetic therapy last year. So I might do this too, because that's the vibes I'm getting like. That, that uh, what the nothing left. I, I played that for you. That's up there. I got the, I got some bangers up there, bro. Like all oh, this, like them saying the step hood. I mean, they eating it up. But put, it's old to me. Like mm -hmm. it's old music I recorded last year and earlier in the year. Like so, I'm on to new like sounds mm -hmm. and stuff. Like I just dropped a single on uh, Apathetic Love. People hit me up like, hey man, what that mean, man? Like, what Apathetic Love mean? I'm like, nah, go look it up, like. Once you look it up, you know it's gonna hit different when you listen mm. to the song. So right on, I go man. get that, all that. Yeah, and I fuck with the visual too. You know, the oh, heart and the yeah. yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you know, really, uh, you know, you really gotta be all inclusive with the brand. Like you got the graphics, the videos. Yeah. You know, like you said, yeah. it's a lot. I see a lot of people be like, as people were telling me last year, like, bro, you putting out too much uh, music. So I'm like, it was like you gotta quality over quantity. You, you hear that before, right? Mm. I'm like, why not do both? I can put out good quality music, good content, and have everything right to visual, but keep going consistently. Mm. Like, yeah, abundance. You can't lose. Yeah. Like, they, what they say, hard work is be talent when talent doesn't work hard. But what if you got talent and you're working harder? <laughs> mm. Can't yeah. lose, bro. It's a winning formula. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to put in that work, that time. For sure. Yeah, but, you know, who are some of the uh, people you pull inspiration from? People or things? Uh, when you're doing music and um, this uh, is how you structure, you kind of touched on it, but I don't really listen to music. Like besides me, or I'm listening to a beat creating. I don't really listen to music, so I was. I've been listening to like, like I said, I've been reading. Like I've been reading Deepak Chopra, um, Et Eric Thomas, you know, mm -hmm. and I've been watching his videos. Inspirational type, though, like motivational speakers. Um, yeah, man. I be I'll be tapping in with Young Money Yon a lot, man. What he be talking about, man. That ain't really inspired me to go harder, like. Just keep like that's what I've been on though. Like if I'm riding in the car, if I ain't listening to my stuff, I'd be like, listen to an interview, seeing like studying the game, like reps, all the reps club interviews. I'm watching like how he did this, how did every rapper that blew out, I, I go tap in. How did it happen? Been doing that for years, bro. Just working and learning, so mm. I know when I'm dropping, like. I know what to do, not to do and what to do to make it work. So yeah, I don't really be listening to a lot of. I, I mean, I tap in though, like listen to the a, a song somebody sent me or you know something that just dropped. Like I, I tapped into Lil Baby now how the voice, but I ain't listen to the whole thing. I just play it one time and check it mm -hmm. out. So yeah, okay. But yeah. so yeah, how do you deal with the people, the naysayers of like you know, it's got a you know it's constructive criticism, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. like man. It's it's kind of people trying to put you, yeah, put you down too. and shit. People want to yeah. want to do what you're doing. It's like, oh man, he ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But yeah, I just block that out. I just show love. Like, I put God first, bro. Like, God first, man. I know He got my back, so I give out love and I get it back. It's just even somebody showing me, hey, I show love, so I know I'm gonna get it back. Not maybe not for them, but somewhere else it's gonna come back. So I just mm. pray every day. Like, that's my that's my creative process. Really, in the studio, like, I've been on that type vibe. I don't even smoke or drink no more. I just be like. I just get a second to myself every morning. I take a walk and a run. Just meditation and peace of mind, bro. Like mm. I said, I was real depressed last year. I had to pull myself out of that. Like, mm. like popping pills, bro. Like, yeah, like man, since like 2018 to now, to to probably like November 2020. Like depressed, bro. Bad. Like sipping lean and popping pills and smoking every day. This shit. I had to put myself out of that shit, mm. but you can hear it in the music. Like last year, I was all the music I was putting out. My bro he told me they was like, "Bro, you putting out sad stuff." Like bring tears to my eyes. He know I'm really talking about stuff I've mm, been through. Going like, through, yeah. Yeah, like that's so why I try to keep it 100 percent honest in my music. But now I'm like so turnt, like <laughs> that. And I don't know where the energy came from. Wow. I gotta be God, bro. Like, I just been getting yeah. closer to God, praying. And, Coming from the side, you just gotta tap into it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't. I used to need the smoke to record. Like I don't even need it no more. Like I just. Mm. Don't go. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's solid, man. So, you know, also mental health is a major yes, piece, um, especially, you know, with this past year, the pandemic and just, you know, like you saying, even before for you, mm-hmm. uh, everybody got their own personal stuff um, they're going through. But, you know, how, uh, like, dealing making that transition, you said what? You mean dealing with it? How, like, oh, no, we're not just like how important it is. Yeah, dealing with it or just like, you know, your focus on mental health, uh, you oh, yeah. on the more positive side of that now. Oh, yeah, that's definitely uh, important, man, because a lot of people don't even know what they're going through. Like, it'd be people you've seen, you, you done seen people die in your face. Like, it took me going to the military, like, homies that I know, that I still talk to to this day, they'd be like, dang, bro, I never lost nobody like you. Like, I done seen so many people die, bro, and lost, like, so many people close to me. I can't even count them. Like, <laughs> we can't even count the people we lost. And I remember my bro was like, Cause I, I keep saying like, when I talk about people in my songs, I'm losing, he lists, he like, bro, only person I think I ever lost was my grandma. And that's cause she was like old age, health problems. I never like had nobody that lost clothes. I'm like, mm. I can't imagine like, I lost so many people that I love, like was with me every day and they gone. Mm. So it's crazy. So yeah. Yeah, I started, um, I started talking to a therapist last year, man. I've been with the VA cause I was in the military. So I tapped in with the VA. Yeah, they told me I'm a little, and stuff in the head, but mm. it is what it is. So yeah, I, anybody that was in the military, tap in with that. VA get that disability, cause mm. them checks gonna come in every month. Man, mm. yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, they was like, I'm on, um, what you say, I'm bipolar? <laughs> bipolar tendencies and some more stuff, so. Mm. Yeah, wow. so it's real, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely Plus I was a firefighter in the military, so I done seen crazy, so like planes crashing and people, crazy stuff yeah it didn't even hit me to like getting out and realizing that stuff ain't normal like talking to a therapist she like stuff not normal that you've seen you've been through is not normal so mm. that didn't help me a lot yeah yeah, so. yeah it definitely um you know just affects you that's a lot to you know experience yeah um but you know it's definitely a conversation that needs to be had just you know in our community just about mental health yes, sir. uh well-being because that you know just affects business and how you live your daily life, all of that. Um, yeah. yeah, but just, you know, with that stuff that you went through, like you said, uh, the therapist, um, you know, how uh, uh, how changing was that for you in terms of, like, the oh, therapy man. process? I didn't really feel comfortable talking at first. Like, we was doing it virtual because of COVID and everything. So it just be, like, once a week we was doing, like, online stuff, just, like, talking to her. And then I, I, I remember talking to my boy because he had just did it too. He like did the VA claims. He had bad knees and stuff. But he was just like be honest with him. So I told her like I've been using drugs and doing this and that. She was like, like you got to get some help. This this ain't normal. Like it's like that's the only way I knew how to deal with it at the time. But like really talking about it and putting it out there and praying, bro. Like like and I'm feeling stressed out about something. I just get to walk and meditate and get my mind clear. Like I don't even need to do nothing. Like just listening to Carl drop back, like, it's relaxing me, like, mm-hmm. I just need that sometimes, like, some, a long time to yourself, bro, sometimes you just need time to yourself, mm-hmm. that's all yeah. you need, bro. Yeah, so. There's so, a lot of stress and pressure, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, speaking of time to yourself, how about uh, time with other people and features? Um, how you feel yeah. about, you know, working with other people? Um, like you say, Virginia coming together, you've been on the road, yeah. and, you know, how, how's that for you? Yeah, like I said, it's a, uh, and people all around the world, I'm trying to work with, like, I'm not really too focused on Virginia because I know that's going to come when, you know, when how it go. But, yeah, I, I've been trying to work with people. It's just, you know how it go. Mm. Yeah. I've been, I, I'm in everybody DMs. I'm promoting, like I said, I'm on my own label. Like, we in everybody DMs. I'm sending my music yeah. to everybody. Like, and then you stay consistent with me. It, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know, I always hit you up. I'm in your DMs. Yeah, yeah. Like, I got to drop something new. You doing something new, I'm going to hit you up. I fuck with, like, I'm, I'm. I'm lit, bro. I'm going. Mm. Like, I'm outside. Like, when they say we outside, I'm outside. Yeah. Like, but yeah, I would definitely want to work with everybody. Like, there's a lot of people I, I, I rock with. Um, Ryan Luke, he hard. Um, yeah, I'm ready. Hard. Hard. He, uh, he got a battle coming out in July. Um, y'all tap in with that. Uh, Squeako. Um, Kai. Man, come on, man. There's so many artists. I know all these people. I got something with. Uh, Juan, Young World Juan, check him out. All platform, we got something. He he gonna be on the next table and drop him. Uh, who else I got something with? Shoot, me and Londo been working. Londo Jackson. We supposed to be getting one in. Um, 
Just yeah, man. I'm with it, whatever, man. But mm-hmm. at this point, you got to come to me. Like, I'm not going to keep reaching out. Because I've been doing this for three years, reaching out to people. And I guess because they don't see the numbers there, long, like how they want it. So, they ain't. Mm-hmm. It is what it is, bro. Oh, oh, I can't forget about Deuce. I thought, well, why not Deuce and them? You know about mm-hmm. bro on uh, AL4. Yeah. yeah uh, Push T artist, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely fuck with them. Him and um, Hutch. Why not Hutch? Um, yeah, they hard, too, bro. Like. I know I'm forgetting some people, but shit. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I thought I thought with everybody else, like I said, like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, shout out Bobo and them too, man. Everybody, Bobino, the God, um, Juwap, but uh, yay, bro, the city going crazy, bro. Like, I'm with Cheese Town, Chesapeake, like, mm-hmm. uh, it's a lot of people. Oh, Big Regine, Regine, Narco, he crazy. You, we got a record together, video out, Ben Trill, that's hard. Mm-hmm. Bro showed me a lot of love, so yeah. It's I, just me, me like I gotta, I gotta meet you and see your vibe, cause it's, it all mm-hmm. vibes to me. Like, if I be telling people, I hit them, I be like, uh, let's like link in the studio and do the feet. Like, I don't like to send it through the email type vibes. Mm-hmm. I work with producers too, like local producers. I work with T Minor, um, Plastic, uh, uh, the young boy JD go crazy from the eight oh four. Uh, shout out my boy Tony B. He made the hood and mean to be. Um, he from Mississippi. I was in the military with him. I started rapping with him. So yeah, he used to record me out the dorm room. So we came a long way to have that single going crazy. It's just like manifested this thing. Like stayed yeah. down and grinded it. Got better together. Like mm-hmm. so it was all. It's just energy, bro. I'm yeah. With everything. Matter of yeah, fact, I'm about, I'm about to go to Atlanta next week. Supposed to be linking with um, Trauma Tone. trying to get with Kino down there and hit the studio. So mm-hmm. just working, bro. Like. Yeah. yeah, I work with anybody who who willing to work. You just gotta be taking it serious, like mm. somebody taking it serious. And at this point, you got like I'm working so hard, like niggas gotta pay, like because I'm stopping yeah. what I'm doing for the come fuck with you. So yeah, and like you, you said, you know, yeah, you, price you going know. up. <laughs> yeah, so you love to make music, but it still work. Right, I'm treating <laughs> like a day. business now. Like that's what that's exactly. the, that's the difference. Before I'm like just going like, cause I love it. Like I would have did it for free, mm-hmm. but it took me like understand like this is a business so many people saying it like and realize like, you got to treat this thing like people you don't like it your job you're nine to five you mm-hmm. got to treat it the same way yeah. i politic with you but i don't you ain't my brother you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i don't get that people start rapping co-workers in a sense yeah you're, you're my yeah. co-worker people start <laughs> rapping and then the people they on the song with hey what's up twin yeah nah. <laughs> hey that's my twin <laughs> bro you don't know this man yeah. <laughs> people crazy though man Lounge. i don't get it yeah I'm yeah. working though, like whoever wanna you hit me up, my DMs, bro. I, you guys, anybody, like I respond to anybody. Shout out my boy River. He do the guitar. You see him? Uh, he did. He be playing the guitar. He out the beach, bro. He be mm. he fire, bro. Like bro. check out my page. Check out his page. I think it's Jay Um River. I post him. I post him. I'm gonna mm. put it on my story, or whatever. But he hard too. Uh, um, he he doing. He part of a little step challenge. He did play the guitar to the to the song or whatever, and he rapped too. So we got we working too. Bro, mm-hmm. hard. Go check. Te- go check him out. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, moving around like that, you pull a lot of inspiration from different people, different sounds. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I feel like that's definitely coming to Virginia. Yeah. Um, you know, how have you uh, like you know, of course you've been paying attention, but how you feel about the VA music scene right now as opposed to like a few years ago? I think it's going, man. It's it's, it's all it takes is one person to like really get in there and and come back and tap in. Like we got to get. Like I like what Yon doing. I just seen Young Money Yon got he got the show coming here. Stuff like that, like little mm. stuff. Shout out uh Capri, uh she been going crazy with the shows and stuff. It's just that like we gotta get more people. Like I think the yeah, biggest more traffic out here. I think the biggest thing is people try to say we the DMV and we gotta mm. separate the seven five seven is oh, yeah, not yeah, the DMV. Yeah. Like that's the north, bro. We the south, really. Yeah. Seven five seven need to be separated, like and people need to just start repping their cities like and going mm-hmm. hard. Norfolk already doing they rep their city. Mm-hmm. I can give them that, but as far as the whole 757 seven coming together, if that was to happen, and the 804, if that mm-hmm. was to happen, bro, whew, it's over. Like, yeah. I like what nah, everybody's doing. We, like, yeah, we got it. We've always had it. Just haven't yeah. really had a scene. Like, really, like, if you think about the biggest people in the world, they all from Virginia. Like, mm-hmm. Alvin Ives, he changed basketball. Yeah. Michael Vick. Every industry. Michael Football. Vick, bro. <laughs> Uh, Missy Elliott, Pharrell, Timberland, they changed yeah. it. the sounds. Like, that's how it sound like. That samples and different sounds, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. People just need it. Like, everybody rapping the same from here, though. I don't, I don't really like the little drill mm. scene way. I want I want to hear something different, bro. Like, if mm. you talking about something in music, I'm, I'm rocking with you. Mm. 
Yeah, pull inspiration, but don't yeah. try to copycat. You know, yeah. you still got to establish your own sound. Then it becomes right. like a baby, this city, like a baby Atlanta, exactly. baby, you exactly. know, kind of feeding off of that, you know. Exactly. And you got to push, bro. Like, people ain't going hard enough. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going, bro. I'm not going to stop. Yeah. Like, I just quit my job. I'm a full-time rapper, bro. No, okay. I'm going. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm going, bro. Yeah, salute to that. Like, bet on yourself, bro. All my chips in. Like, you go hard enough, people are gonna see you and they gonna mm. start investing in you. Like, yeah, and you, well, I just bet posted. Yeah. So no, we'll stop going up, man. Mm-hmm. Get your investment because it's gonna be too big for you to get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now we're going need crazy. You like, uh, you on, um, you heard like NFTs. It's a lot of non fungible tokens, so it's like cryptocurrency, blockchain type of stuff. Oh, see, I ain't into that. My, my brother be doing all that, though. I got, oh, he, just was, he just sent me something about that, though. Yeah, I'm definitely tapping in. Yeah, yeah, y'all gotta tap in and sit down, man. My brother Yon, man. Today mm. is, is his day, yeah, man. Yeah, we can make it happen. Six, nine, his day. Mm. <laughs> yeah, a little perv, man. But yeah, well, he going crazy, though, man. Yeah, his yeah, stock no. portfolio just hit 100K. Uh-huh. He got a store down on the oceanfront called uh, The Lot, stand for the Legion of Thrift. Mm. Thrift store, hey, man, they working, bro. That's what I'm saying. If you ain't, if you ain't working, man, I don't want you around me, basically. Like, mm. Just want something for yourself. like. Yeah, hustle. Yeah. Man, just, you know, like you said earlier in the interview, it's too many ways. Yeah, it's too many ways to get yeah. money for you to be still doing the same stuff, bro. Like, And I respect anybody getting money, no matter how you getting it. But, like, ah, man, it's just so much I want to say, man. <laughs> it's like, even, like, with the music industry, the music scene here, like, I feel like people ain't taking the music serious. They want to be fashion models or, you know what I'm saying? They taking all these, you know what I'm saying? They worry about their clothing and all this other stuff, but you don't got no music out. You ain't doing no video. Like, what you taking serious, man? Mm-hmm. People just want the clout. And I don't care about none of that. I don't mm-hmm. care about the followers. I don't, all I care about is who messing with me. And yeah. if you rock with me, I'm rocking with you. Like, mm-hmm. you ask anybody who hit me up, I don't care if you just, I don't care what you got, who you is, like, hit me up, I'm respond to it. When I get to it, I'm gonna respond to it. I'm gonna let you know. I appreciate the love, like, cause I want to build that fan base, like, hard, like a family type thing. So yeah, you know, just keep pushing. Yeah, and I just actually uh, interviewed um, Vic Regime the other day, and mm-hmm. he was, uh, you know, just talking about Chesapeake. You talk about it, you know. Uh, it's mm-hmm. like I think y'all are the only two people that have, you know. Just like really rep that because a lot of people uh they want to act like they from North. Yeah, North. Come you on, know, I'm not from North. I ain't went to no hood. Hey, since we ain't went to no hoods in North, I'm not. That's why I said like, matter of fact, bro gave me the uh I fought with Made in North for the, the brand though, but that's just cause bro that own it. Like I fought with him, but I ain't from North. I was just in the city. I did a little photo shoot down on Grammy Street. Like I be popping my shit. That's all I be doing. Like. Mm. Yeah, you can move around, you know. But, yeah, you know. What I just mean like claim your city, like mm. like Chess. You from Chesapeake? You saying you from Norfolk? I'm from the seven five seven area. Nah, man, you from Chesapeake? Like we got two hundred thousand people in Chesapeake. That's enough to blow you up. Yeah, ain't and no you push in the yeah. city, like, and we yeah. don't got no clubs. We don't got nothing in the city music wise. Mm. If we start pushing like that, it's gonna happen, like. Yeah. And the hardest stuff coming out of Chesapeake, mm. like uh, Vol Icy. You hear them? Bro got yeah. the, uh, what's the, what's the Jane call? Uh, damn, my bad. The song Fire, though. Wet. Wet. That, mm. I just seen a video cut. Fire. Mm. Fire. He from, I think he from, like, West of Branch area. You got Pape, Regine, bro. Yeah, Wah. somebody got a track with us. Yeah. yeah. Regine had the track with uh, Boosie Daughter. Man, Regine been mm. going crazy for years. Like, they so sleep on him. Like, mm. I track. We got Ben Trills on all platforms. They ain't going crazy. Tell him, man, there's so much talent out here. Shout out to us. Big Snap, we got something coming. Everybody from the city is just working, but I see it. Like, it's got to keep pushing. Mm, yeah. I know I'm forgetting some people, man. Y'all know I got love for everybody, though. <laughs> you from the city, man, I'm rocking with it, like, mm. for life. Like, it ain't even no hate towards, like, the other cities. I'm just saying, like, I want my city to shine. You feel mm. me? I got to represent for my city, because that's where I'm from. from like, I used to tell people, like, I'm from South Norfolk, but they, don't, they ain't knowing that that's Chesapeake, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You hear that, you think I'm from Norfolk. But I'm, I'm claiming Ches- Cheesetown, Chesapeake, bro. That's all I'm with, like. Mm-hmm. As far as I go with this, it's always going to be Chesapeake. Yeah. And it need to be, like, an album, because you name some, you know, major names. People moving out here, like, a whole collab. You know, and like, I know, I mean, sometimes people say that, and it's not that possible. Oh, we need to get all the big names because, yeah. you know, people move with whoever they move with, but, yes. you know, that could happen. Okay, yeah. the hardest people come from Chesapeake. Even uh, Jason Bray, he mm. one of the hardest producers from here. He uh, 
he made that uh track uh he produced that uh, on my mama yeah oh, he produced that like mm -hmm. come on bro people just don't know him. like I, i've been places they be like dang ain't no pharrell's from virginia mm -hmm. like people ain't claiming it like they should be i feel like yeah pharrell definitely been making big moves lately though i just yeah. seen he was doing a little school in norfolk I'm yeah. with all that, man. Business, yeah, it's coming big together. business, big CEO. Yeah. Virginia on soon, man, I'm telling you. Yeah. Once one person get up there, like, it just take people reaching in and tapping in, pulling them out, like, mm -hmm. like I'm in everybody's DMs. Like I said, I'm in, you know I'm in everybody's DMs. Yeah. Like, I'm in your DMs on every Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, TikTok. I'm everywhere, like. And I ain't, ain't even, like, on no clout chase and stuff. It's just, like, I want you to hear my music. If you like it, you like it. If you don't. Cool, just yeah, tell me. Person, like, yeah. just hit me up. Like, be like, yeah. okay, that's fine. Or it ain't I, like you ain't gotta sign me. I'm, I told you, I'm signed. I'm not looking for a label or none of that. I'm just looking yeah, for just fans, supporters. Like, if you like the music, yeah, share, share, yeah, share it. it. If you don't yeah. like it, don't share it. It's yeah. that simple. Like, a lot of people just only gonna mess with who they like, and that's mm -hmm. the problem. Like, like who they know personally, and they don't even like their music. Like, people sharing stuff, and supporting stuff. They ain't you ain't really tapping into the man. Music you can't quote a line from his songs, but. You got people stuff you do like, and I my numbers doing. I mm -hmm. see the numbers, so I know y'all listening. But that's how yeah. I go, man. I know how I go. People wanna don't want you to make it before. They don't want you to be bigger than them. They mm -hmm. never want that to happen. Yeah, that's the end. Like I go everywhere else, like Atlanta, man. They so everybody down there working. Like you can meet somebody today. He like let's work, bro. Like mm -hmm. yeah, movement. tapping in. Yeah, yeah a lot of it, you know, foot traffic. Uh, like just, I said, like know, I said everybody go to reference. Atlanta. Next week, man, get some work in with um, Trauma Tone and I'm uh, trying to get in the studio. Dope. And uh, I'm trying to get um, Bro Muskin on to come up there too. Shout mm -hmm. out all them, man. Under God, Guala. He got a single on call that's going crazy. Shout out Stunner, big CEO. Shout out my brother Moneyway Joe, man. Wealthy for Life, they whole label. They from Alabama, man. Shout out uh, Spaz, Guapo, man. Shout out Killer. All them from up Alabama, man, they going crazy down there. Like, I've been tapping in with everywhere, like, everywhere, bro. Mm, yeah. Just trying so, to keep pushing. Yeah, I was about to say, how do you uh, pick your producers of the beats? Um, Give them uh, the vibe you going for. That's really, like, my my main thing. Like, it's the hardest thing for me to find a beat. Like, a lot of people think I don't. Producers send me a beat pad. Like, I done have 30 beats, and I was like, Send me some more because it gotta be perfect. Like, I got yeah, it just really it, it's has one to second. You know what beat you want in the yeah. Yeah, first, yeah. Because I be like I used to write poetry, so a lot of times I already got stuff wrote down. Or if I go to the studio, I, I'm at the point where I just hear the beat. If it's hard enough, I just freestyle. Like with the pull up, we just went to the studio, cut the beat on, I punched through the jank like that. Like, but when I'm getting deep on it, I want to do more like a, you know what I'm saying? Like a writing it all down, like a story. That's why I'm trying to get with the visual too. You know, I'm still working with OG. Like, you see, I'm with who I started with. Like, same people. T Savage, OG, that's what shoot my video. T Savage shot my first video. Um, OG been shooting all my videos. You don't see me with nobody else shooting my videos mm -hmm. with them too. And it's gonna be like that. Yeah, no matter how big people. I get, like, they both from the city. Like, I don't understand, bro. Like, I'm just working. Like, mm -hmm. I wanna see the city win. Yeah. Yeah. And that might be my downfall. Like, love having too much love. My, my brother be telling me that, like, your heart too big, you need to. Start showing so much love, but mm. yeah, I don't think it's ever <laughs> such things. You got to be strategic, smart about it. Yeah, facts. facts. Yeah, you know, like, I'm understanding yeah. it's a business, though. I can't, just can't be. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. yeah. Some people been hitting me up about standing. working. Now I'm like, you know, I can't do it. Like I'm yeah. working. Like I'm busy. I can't do it. We are gonna get to it though. Like cause yeah. I forget. Oh, shout out Jody Ryan, bro. I forgot you, but. My right. boy Jody Ryan, I forgot you. You about to be on me. I forgot you, bro. Yeah, he hard too. We got the collab tape coming. Yeah. We're working on that with T okay. Minor, the producer. Yeah, I can't wait to hear that. All for Chesapeake, bro. I'm telling you, we working, bro. Yeah, salute me, Jody me Ryan. Me and Kai got the uh, collab tape too. I'm telling you, bro. I got so many projects coming out this year. Like, I'm no. flooding. Like, when Baby first did when he popped, Lil Baby. Oh, yeah. Just, that's how I'm on, bro. Like, uh, I'm on to the next one. Drop the tape, I'm on to the next one. Uh, uh, like, not even drop it, finish it. Put it in the vault, I'm on to the next one. Mm -hmm. So I've been working. And then roll it out how you yeah. you please. At that point, you kick your feet up, everything you online. Anyway, you already like, got it. It's like having the clip loaded. So when you shoot them, you can just. Yeah, let's work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Jody Ryan Hart, too. We definitely got some stuff on the way. Dope. Okay. Yeah, yeah you got the brand on, you know, the hat, the shirt. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, you yeah. know, when did that come about? And you can tell the viewers just a little what bit about that. What I did is. 
January 2020, I think I created a business or whatever. I got all the paperwork straight to LLC and yeah, I got it together and it's it's Garcon, man, PJ Garcon. I tried to play with like the words a little bit, like PJ, cause my name's Jay. Mm -hmm. Garcon is French yeah. for trap boys. Dope. That's what it, oh, it so stands that's for. Backwards. Yeah, so this means uh, boy I trap. That's what uh, that means on my shirt. Okay. Yeah, and got the PG, the hats, man. We got the website, follow us on IG, man. We got a, man, my boy, my boy Xavier doing it with me now. We got the whole team I me and my brother Moneyway Joe. We just been tapping in. You know, I say I'm working with different people. It ain't about the money, bro. It's about like building you a foundation of hustlers, bro. Somebody want to get it and just working with them, like, we hustling, bro. Mm, yeah. Like, all this, like, this ain't even, like, it's just my merch. I can't, mm. came out to be the merch and it turned into something bigger. They, like, Oh, this ain't gonna be hard, so we finna push this hard, heavy. Dope. So sure. people can, you know, grab that. Or yeah, we got the, the website up and everything. Right, PJ Garcon is the Instagram. Um, PJ Garcon US. The website. We everywhere, right. bro. Right. <laughs> dope, dope. Look me up. Yeah, for sure. So you know, in terms of the brand, like how um is that like venturing off into other things and then bringing it together? So we're doing the interview. You get on the brand, or if you were to do like a deluxe and. You know, hey, you, whatever, uh, bundle, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm with, you mean like, uh, far as like getting the, yeah, yeah, I'm with all that. When I drop the mm. tape, we rolling out all that behind it. Like, I got new, Dope. we got new merch on the way. Like I said, sis got the shoes, Big Care Customs. We got all that on the website, like everything. My, my cousin Kai got the brand Loners. We got that going crazy. I just did a photo shoot with some of his gear yesterday. Bro, we just working like I'm working yeah. with everybody want to work. Somebody got something going. Oh, shout out my my big bro. He got the LOA, loyalty over all. But we all like CEOs, big CEOs. We just working, bro. Like, mm. and we're gonna bring it all together. The one umbrella paper game ENT, and we're gonna push it. Like, yeah, I'm, so I, I, I did like I, I got a whole movie script written about my life. Like, my cousin Kill dying. Like, me and my cousin Yon, we're gonna tell him, bro. Like, I got so many plans. I'm thinking five, ten years ahead of time, like, I, cause yeah. I know what's about to happen, so I'm like, I want to get into acting, I don't want to be a rapper forever, but I yeah. always do, I'm trying to get to the level where I can just, Entertainer, like, yeah. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Have a brand for yourself, and you can move, I mean, that's crazy, I'm glad you brought that up, because it's like, now people are influencers, they got a brand, Yeah. so you see people working with, you know, Pepsi, or, um, like yeah, Oreos, facts. it's like damn, it's that you I know. I seen um, little baby said that he was like he ain't getting no tattoos. He he knew he was gonna make be a millionaire one day. I was like, that's why I ain't getting them. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been telling her I want tattoos, yeah. but I'm like I can't do it because I know once that jank come, they gonna look mm -hmm. at me different when I when I'm tatted all up. Mm -hmm. So I got something on my do the upper body and stomach yeah. and all that. That way, yeah, it ain't gotta arms, be too too exposed. Yeah, I got something behind my arms. I got this while I was 15 when I did that, young uh -huh. and dumb, but. <laughs> I ain't getting no more on my arms, bro. Yeah. So keep it clean, trying to get that clean cut image. Until like, you yeah, get there. That's why I've been working like, on the like, my yeah. image been like, since since I dropped Big Kid, it's been like, a, I've been trying to change my image up, like mm. get more mainstream. And so people, yeah. cause people that's how you move it, scare a lot of people off, like yeah. how you moving online and stuff. So mm. yeah, definitely you, been trying to clean my image up. Yeah, definitely be strategic. I feel like, you know, also plays into it, you know, how you uh, go about it. Cause you got, um, like the the influencer, the ownership, you know, you got your own platform. So it may not yeah. be as too uh apparent or um that taking that serious, I guess, in the future. You know, everybody yeah. has their own type of you make you call your own shots. Yeah, fact. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, like big CEO, like mm -hmm. you gotta run your own stuff. Like I couldn't imagine signing to a label when they tell me, Oh, we're gonna hold your project, we can't drop this day, like what? Like yeah. I drop on my on the day my cousin died, every year, you gonna tell me I can't drop? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah, right, right, I couldn't right. imagine, bro. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine. That's why I said we are gonna do this jank independent. And shoot, with my with my CEO, TP, and my manager, they keep getting on me like, you, you, like I overthink everything. Like I'm like, boo, I keep coming to them like, well, we should drop right now. Like, mm -hmm. like I, they didn't. I would have already had the project out. Mm -hmm. The one for them. How many times I said I was gonna drop? Three, four times. I, I, Cause it's already done. I just want it out. I want people to hear it. But yeah. I understand it's a business side. That's why I need that too. Cause mm -hmm. you know, I said, build your team of people that that want to do it. Like if something that you ain't good at, you get with somebody that's good at it and come mm -hmm. together. It's gonna work. It's yeah, everybody. Simple. Yeah, play their part. Contribute. Yeah. Facts, yeah, bro. So sure. you know, it's all love forever, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dope. Yeah, it's man. working though. Yeah.
Yeah, definitely can't wait to see what's coming next. Yes, you know, uh, hear these projects, keep me updated. Yes, sir, I got you. We yeah, if that. you need a, a early listener, you yeah, know, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna throw you some songs right now. For it, okay. You some. We got no. the uh, that Love just dropped, going crazy. That's when it go crazy. That's some different vibes for him. Uh-huh. Trying to make some stuff for the girls, you know, the ladies. Trying, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm a little wild. But be, be a little versatile. Me. Yeah, I'm trying. Like, you listen to my music, be like, dang, this ain't you. Yeah, I keep switching up. Yeah, yeah. People gotcha. been telling me, people like, first they were like, man, you sound like Cole. And like, oh, damn, you sound like Rollo Rodriguez. <laughs> and like, dang, man, you hard. <laughs> it's like, yeah, keep people saying, on yeah. the toes. That's what I'm trying to do, bro. Just keep going. Yeah. Don't, don't. Yeah, appreciate pre- you, though, for showing love, man. Yeah, no doubt. Appreciate you pulling up, man. Already, from the jump. Yes, sir. Cheese yeah. Town, the city, we in the building. Cheese Town, <laughs> Sona Wheels. We out. Could have caught the Rolex, but I stay down for the AP. Me and Cuzzo bite the back, we ball like Kyrie Katie. Purple in my cup, gold on my wrist, LeBron and AD. I keep dropping bangers, know these local niggas.